Okay, let's take a look at some proofs that involve the similarity theorems. So as a review, if two angles in a triangle match, they are similar. If two sides are proportional, in other words, you take this, you multiply it by something to get the other red one, if you have that same multiplier, the same scale factor, those sides are proportional. And if those sides are proportional and the angle in between them is proportional, we have side, angle, side similarity. Triangles are similar. And also, if you have all sides are proportional, then they're similar. So we're just on a hunt to prove these things, looking for S's and A's, okay? So first, we're given two uh, parallel lines and two sets of perpendicular lines. One thing we know about being perpendicular is that we make right angles. So in other words, angle M is congruent to angle N. Why? Well, because two definitions. The definition of perpendicular, meaning that they are both 90 degrees and 90 degree angles are right angles which means that and all right angles are equal. So those angles are equal. It's kind of two steps in one. Um, we need to match another side or another angle to move on. And if I can uh, snatch another angle, that'd be great. So this is R and S. And we have our two parallel lines. Um, our triangles are kind of in this space. We got one here and one down here. I already know these angles match. But because we're parallel here, we hop back to parallel lines at the beginning of the year, we have corresponding angles. Are congruent. So MRS is congruent to NST. Why? The corresponding angle theorem. That should ring a bell deep in your brain somewhere. And once we get to the bottom of the proof, we know that we just write down what we are seeking to prove. And the reason why is because we got two angles to match. So for this one, we're given information about sides. So we imagine we're going to either do side angle side similarity or side 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 similarity. We're only given info about two sides, so I'm thinking we might be using this reason. Okay. So if you remember, if it is side angle side similarity, we have to show something like this. Basically saying that if you go small to big, small to big, you have to have the same scale factor, right? So they're basically just saying the ratio, the division, the scale factor between the two sides are the same. But because this is the definition, we need to write a fraction equal to a fraction like this in order to prove that the sides are proportional. Okay, so that's why I wrote here, in order to show the sides are in proportion, show that the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal. So let me show you how that will look. First of all, we want to make a ratio. So I'm going to divide, and then I isolate this number here, which is the scale factor. One of the sides is uh, 3 fourths the length of um, another. And by dividing, all I'm using is the division PoE, property of equality. And we have some number sense here, right? If we have two things that both equal 3 fourths, then those two things are equal because they're equal to the same thing. And that argument, if you remember, which is like A equals B, B equals C, therefore A equals C, that's called the transitive property. But this is fantastic because what does it do? It tells us that this side, PQ, 
to PR is in the same ratio as PT is to PS. So it matches like small to big, small to big. So that ratio is meaningful and it means that those, the base and the diagonal side, they're proportional to each other in the same way. So we have the S and the S, but now we're missing an angle. And it turns out that this angle right here is included, if I draw both triangles, that angle shows up in the same spot in both. So in fact, and then we have to write an angle statement. So even though P is congruent to P and that's obvious, we have to write it because we have to document when we have angles that match. So this is the reflexive property. And finally, we have what you want to prove. So I'm going to copy this. Two triangles are similar. Why? Because they have an angle and two sides. And they are in the order of S, A, S, similarity. Sides are not congruent, but they're proportional. Okay, so finally, here's another proof. Um, we got the word bisect going on here. We got a ratio. So this is a scale factor. So I'm even going to draw JAB and the bigger triangle. I know that we're probably dealing with this triangle because they gave me info about AB, the height, and uh, KL, which is also a height. So they're saying that that side is half of itself. Okay. Um, so that's an S. That's a side. That's proportional. We hope that other those other sides uh, maintain that one half scale factor. So the only thing left to do is to understand what bisect means. So we will use the definition of bisect. And this fill-in is a little tough to do. I wouldn't expect you to just pull this out. But the fact we want is that JA, this length, is half of JK because it's a is a is the uh, midpoint, right? So, and in the same way, JB is half of JL. And just like in the other problem, we're interested in ratios. So I want to put all the sides on the same side on the left. So I'm going to divide. And that is, of course, just division. And look, all of these ratios are equal to a half. So because a half is equal to a half, right, um, all of these are equal. AB over KL is equal to JK, I'm sorry, JA over JK, JB, JL. So that's a lot of sides going on, but all it's saying is, so we have small and big, right? If you go from AB, small, to big, so small height to big height is the same as small top to big top is the same as JB to JL. They all have the same scale factor of two or one half if you do it in reverse so this is this is a perfect candidate for side 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 similarity and of course we'd fill in the two triangles that are as a result similar and number four is going to be um, transitive just like it was in the first proof for the same reason because all of those ratios were equal to a half. And the transitive property lets us know that if you have two things that are the same as something else, those two original things are the same too, because they're the same, <laughs> right? So it's kind of a weird argument, but it's called the transitive property. 
Okay, and then one thing I need you to fix down here is I meant to say that these sides are in proportion to each other. So basically this one scales up to this one in the same way that this one scales up to this one. See if that's enough to show that those triangles are similar.